Yeah, man, shots out to V1 Visions. Hey, look, V1 Visions, if you ain't watching that, then you ain't watching shit, nigga. Back to the childhood, man. You had any siblings? Yeah, came from a large family. Uh, Pops had over 17 kids, but had nine with my mom. And then, um, that's a whole nother story, the rest of them. But yeah, we got over 17 kids, man. 17 siblings. And I'm the last born on top of that. Okay, and what about the first? <clears throat> the first born, King Kiwani, he passed away. He the reason why this whole music thing started. He the reason why he right here on me. I don't know if niggas can see that or not. You know what I mean? King Kiwani. That's him. That's New York and Kingston, Jamaica. That's where he was top dogs at. You know what I mean? He ran through that shit. <clears throat> but yeah, he the reason why I do this whole music shit. He, um... If y'all heard of Lost Boys, Mr. Cheeks, Lights, Camera Action, all that, he 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 was with them. He was part of that group, you know. And he bought a lot of light to to Eton. He was one of the first people from Edenton, North Carolina, to actually be on on TV, bro. Like MTV, BET, Apollo, all of that shit. You know what I mean? So radio station and ECSU, he was the first one to have it. Um, Reggae Splash. And ECSU, first reggae splash in Virginia. So when y'all hear reggae splash and 103 jams and all that shit, my brother started all of that shit, bro. Yeah. Can't you want to rest up? So uh your brother, man, how did he how did he pass away? Uh he got shot. He got shot in front of my own uh, front of the house on Carter Street here in Edenton. And it was over it was over some jealousy basically, bro. Jealousy, man. Niggas, niggas that wanted to do music basically didn't know how to approach and say, put the shit down and, and say, look, man, let's just do music together. They wanted to be on some beef shit. It was street. It started from some street shit. Then they wanted to do some music shit. And then they came. My brother wanted to throw hands. He threw hands, punched a nigga in the face. A gun pulled out and a nigga shot him. So. That's not the goal. So that right there, it teaches me right there from an early age with me. It's like you can you can bring them hands. You know what I mean? You can have them hands, but make sure you have one on you. You know what I mean? Cause it was crazy. He had one on him and he put it to the side. He put that shit down and was like, yo, I'm gonna make I'm gonna, I'm gonna show these niggas how to make music and let's come together. Then when he went out there and he said, yo, let's come together. It's always one bitch ass nigga out the entourage. I wanna blow shit up. Man, fuck that. Hell no. It ain't no peace shit. It ain't no till I say it. So, boom, punch stone, boom, shot fire. And that's what was it. We lost one. We lost a good nigga behind that, bro. Good nigga. Still fuck a nigga that, you know what I mean? But that's a whole nother story, too. Sure. Bitch. And uh, it was a killing about your, one of your best friends, Malik. You made yeah, a song about yeah, it. Yeah, how yeah, that, yeah. How did that go about? That went about, I mean, <clears throat> the song speak for itself. But Malik was one of them dudes. He was a dude that um, every time he see me, bro, he was like, yo, dog, yo, you, that joint right there, you need to keep doing, bro, you got it, bro, you about to do it. Boom. And then to see his last video <clears throat> that he did, he bumping my shit and he having fun. Counting his money, he playing my shit. Man, that shit, boy. That shit send chills to me every time I see that shit. And that's, yeah, R.P. Malik. So, yeah, I, I had to do that. And that with, with that song, it was basically I was letting out what was inside. And I basically let out what, what everybody wanted to say. But I guess they didn't want to say it. But I'm um, going to say it. The fuck? Yeah, we don't, we don't, you know, that's it. Okay, and so Malik was like a little brother to you? Or yeah, like... he was like a little brother, man. Malik was definitely like a, a little brother. He was a supporter. Oh, shit. Nigga encouraged niggas, like, for real. Yeah, and he was way younger than me, man. Malik, man, come on, man. Young boy. But just to see him come through and smile and acknowledge a nigga and be like, yo, keep doing your shit, that's, that's something I, I'll take with me forever. You know what I mean? That video, I'll take with me forever. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Shouts out to V1 Visions. Hey, look, V1 Visions. If you ain't watching that, then you ain't watching shit, nigga.